Hi guys, welcome back to Pottery by Malika. I wanted to show you my studio today. So this is the outside, quite obviously, and I wanted to tell you about it. So my husband and I did almost the whole, all the work ourselves. My parents came a day or two to help with the frame and some of the shelving, and my brother-in-law helped with the rafters. He's significantly taller than me, so he was much better suited to help with that. I have a bit of a pet peeve. It's that people saying, oh, that's so nice your husband did that for you. No, no, guys. We were... 100% a team on this. Like, we put up the siding together, I painted it, he did the whole roof, all the shingles himself, but I did all the painting. He did the ceiling on the inside, I did the floor, he put up most of the drywall sheets, I did all the mudding and taping and painting, I did the trim, he did the shelves, about half the shelves my dad helped as well. And, uh, yeah, I think we just made an awesome team. Oh, yeah, and my husband did mostly electrical. I helped a bit, but he did a lot of that. So, yeah, this is the outside. Got a couple steps up. Here's the inside. And here's where it starts. I've got my wheels, which is probably weird to have two when I really only use one. But the other one we got, the farther one, we got cheap online, and my kids like to come out and throw with me, or sometimes my husband will. So it is awesome to have two. So here's the wheel I use all the time. Here's my shelf I put stuff on. There's my tripod that I usually have my phone on. Here's some bat storage, and if I'm throwing several things at once, I will pull out this cart here. Here's my sink. Just a simple system. I fill that container with a hose and it drains down into a hole in my yard. Just pretty simple. Hole filled with gravel. But it works great. So when I'm done throwing something I'll usually put it over here. Like these two are pretty wet still. And then I let them dry. As they get drier, I'll move them over here and eventually over there where I know these ones are ready to fire. And these shelves down here just don't look like they fit, do they? Well, that's because my kids like to come play with clay with me. And so they'll come out and do stuff. This is mostly my five-year-old's creations. She's especially fond of that kitty camera or a cat cat eared camera in the back there and my eight-year-old made that spaceship and my 10 year old came and made this whistle the other day so that's pretty cool I love having a home studio for that reason they come out and play with me or hang out or hand build or throw on the wheel or just come give me suggestions. That was my 10 year old suggestion. He said I should throw a Christmas tree. So there you go, one Christmas tree. So I throw things, put them here. He's all ready to go. Here's some kind of older things I threw and made out of the community studio when I was going there. There's some other things and tools. Over here I've got some more stuff that this is all ready to bisque or do the first firing of these, but my kiln is unfortunately out of commission for a couple more days. It's kind of taken apart at the moment because it needs new elements. So that's a bummer, but as soon as that's up and running, that's all getting fired. Then I've got my table in the middle. Where I do most of my stuff. This table is for glazing and at the moment it's holding these but this one is where I do all my wedging and sometimes I'll come in 
carve here, but a lot of times I just sit at the wheel. Then down here, I put my scraps to dry, and then I put them in these reclaim buckets down here so that I'm reusing by far the majority of the clay that comes into my studio. And these pieces are just some that are hanging out and drying a bit more before I trim and carve them. And then, <laughs> move that. Here's the lovely floor that I did and the beautiful ceiling that my husband did. Wanted to have lots of lights so I can see what I'm doing, but also lots of natural light, which is getting a little dark, but normally lots of light because I want to, my, want to be able to see my kids playing outside, keep an eye on them, and I also wanted to just have lots of light so I'm not squinting while working. So yeah, that's my studio. Really proud of it. Works awesome. And yeah, it's big enough to work in, but not so big that it just eats my entire yard. So I think that's the whole tour. Thanks for watching. See you next time.